So how divers, I am back with another how divers 2 video and in today's video guys we check out the latest and greatest news surrounding the game in regards to new leaked weapons, gameplay for said weapons and much more. Today we get into it all. Now yesterday's winner of 2100 super credits you can see on screen now, if this is you hit me up on my discord link down below. Now do you guys want to win 2100 super credits for yourself or even a copy of the game if you don't have it yet? To do so simply liberate this video with a massive thumbs up, make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. Winner will be picked and announced on tomorrow's video. If we could get this video to 1000 likes, that would be absolutely incredible. I'm trying to break my way into the algorithm on YouTube in regards to Helldivers 2 and it's pretty hard. But yes, a thumbs up really helps me out. Okay, so we have quite a bit to get through today guys. So we'll start with what seems to be a brand new flamethrower pistol. Now this image was dropped on the Helldivers leaks Reddit last night and it seems to show what could be a possible model for a brand new weapon coming to the game which looks a lot like a flamethrower pistol you can see that sort of like little gas canister on the front with that ignition barrel too so yes this could be quite a potent little weapon for sure the flamethrower in regards to the one that's in game now is quite a beast i won't lie to you especially against those bugs at those close quarters it is utterly brutal a flamethrower pistol a secondary imagine having this equipped it would be perfect for those close scenarios where you just get overpowered by so many bugs and you find yourself cornered or on your back trying to take them all out as they swarm you something like this could be very very useful that is for sure so yes guys this is really an early image but it could possibly be a future weapon it could be a placeholder don't get it twisted take these with a pinch of salt they're in the game files but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a guaranteed weapon it could be something that they've scrapped from the past you never know but yeah cool either way Okay, so next up we have a little bit of gameplay of the AR-48 Truth Whisper. This is that silenced assault rifle and it does seem, in my opinion, it could be quite a decent weapon. Now we saw images of this quite a while, but about a week ago now, uh, but it's actually the first gameplay I myself have seen on it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just add it to this video just in case someone missed this. Now this actual gameplay itself has been on the internet for about a week or so, but again, it's only a short snippet. A lot of people have missed this, so yes, it looks like a decent weapon, I won't lie to you. And we see his description reads, a silenced assault rifle with a built-in suppressor which won't alert distant targets to the user's position. This could be very, very useful indeed. Okay, so next up guys, we have a new anti-tank weapon. Now this thing looks like a beast, I won't lie. Um, it was uploaded to Reddit by uncreative username. Great username, by the way. It's only a short snippet of this thing firing. But reading the comments of a few other people who have put this into the game and tried it out, they do say it's slightly underwhelming. One user said it takes two shots to break armor on a charger leg. So yeah, it does seem a little bit mid in my opinion if that is the case. But either or guys, by the time this makes it into the game, it could receive a buff. If it comes into the game and it feels weak and people complain about it, it may itself get a buff in a patch to follow. So yeah, this new anti-tank weapon uh, hasn't got a name to it as I'm seeing right here, but it definitely looks quite cool. Okay, so next up guys, we're gonna take a look at a new grenade pistol. Now this thing is called the GP31 Grenade Launcher. It's a secondary pistol. Um, I've seen a bit of gameplay on this. I saw a snippet of this about three or four days back. But thanks to Willis Gaming, who actually had his very own footage of this. He allowed me to use his content. So credit to this dude. His channel will be found linked down below if you do want to check him out and show him some love. Uh, but yes, we're seeing quite a bit of gameplay on this grenade pistol. And it looks like an absolute monster. I have no doubt in seeing this that it may receive a slight nerf possibly. I mean the grenade launcher in this game in my opinion, uh, the strategy is so underrated. That thing is so useful. It's my goal too, I won't lie to you. It takes out enemies with ease, groups of enemies with ease. And to be honest, you can if you play smart. You can run an entire match with the first one you call in. Uh, just picking up ammo along the way, so yeah. But having a secondary grenade pistol, that sounds pretty cool, I won't lie. Now the only thing I'm thinking about here is because I absolutely love my Redeemer pistol. 
it gets me out of so many sticky situations. Let's say I'm getting overwhelmed by bugs. I'm cornered. I'm on my backside. I'm running out of ammo on my primary. I switch to my second OP-19 Redeemer pistol and I can drill and take out a whole bunch of enemies that are in my face. You won't be able to do that with grenade pistol because, I mean, if you're, if you're getting swarmed uh, and you shoot this thing, it's probably going to explode in your face and take you out too. So it does seem like there are negatives to actually picking this thing and using this thing but it all depends on your style of play if you want to play and sit back if you want to play and don't plan on getting in the face of the bugs certain maps certain missions i do see this gp31 grenade launcher being a very very useful weapon but for me and the way i play i don't think it would suit my play style plus having a stratagem with the grenade launcher too that's going to be my goal too definitely over this i mean watching the gameplay it does seem like it could be quite limited with you having to reload between each shot as well uh, but hey as an overview to be honest it probably seems it probably looks a bit balanced in regards to what it can offer but there's going to be those certain situations where it ain't going to offer you anything and with how dive is being so hectic it isn't going to be a weapon for every single situation that's a guarantee so yes the gp31 grenade launcher a secondary pistol does look pretty cool though i won't lie so moving on and we also see this gameplay of this new light machine gun now i'm not sure if this is the same one we saw probably about a week ago now i think it's actually it's definitely a brand new gameplay but if this is the one that people are referring to as the chainsaw i'm not too sure about that it's literally just called the machine gun which i don't think will be its actual legit in-game name it may come with a different name we don't know but a credit to throw out i believe that's how you pronounce your name or one else how divers leaks reddit who compiled a lot of uh, footage and put it together and the video you're seeing on screen now so it looks like quite a beast i won't lie it's got quite a bit of recoil but i mean you can control that if you play it smart but yeah i am liking the look at this i'm not gonna lie to you although machine guns ain't my goal to in this game like i said earlier i much prefer my my grenade launcher that thing's an absolute monster now we're also seeing a little bit of the breaker nail splitter this is a new a brand new shotgun coming to the game and it does seem as though it does get to work now there's not much gameplay of it here uh just about 30 seconds of it probably a little bit longer but it is looking pretty cool i won't lie to you and i think there's actually a different version of this too i think there's a bug splitter as well as this one we are seeing right here so yes pretty cool guys Okay, so lastly, I want to end the video on how you can actually get the new Warbinds completely free. Now, there is a little exploit going around. I ain't going to show footage of it. I'll just quickly explain it to you. It's quite easy to do, to be honest. All you got to do is, I mean, it gives you infinite super credits. You can get people are claiming about a thousand per hour. I'm not sure if it's that good. But I mean, if you spend a couple of hours on this, you're going to get easily enough to get that Warbind. How it works is you select a mission, any mission you want. And this mission we will exploit and we'll keep coming back to so you're landing on this mission like i said any mission you want on the planet you'll land in and what you want to do is you want to find yourself those super credits now what i believe happens is once you find these super credits in that certain location when you take advantage of this exploit this glitch you can keep coming back to the exact same spot and grabbing further more super credits and there can be multiple within a small area so if you find like two stashes of super credits you can use this on them too three stashes four stashes i mean you can use this infinite so what you do guys is you land in you find those super credits remember where this is on the map then guys pick them up and simply quit out of your game this works on pc i'm pretty sure it will work on playstation 2 because it's server side saving uh, so you're saving yourself having the super credits and picking them up but when you quit out your game once you load back in you can go back to that mission land in that certain spot you found them super credits they will be there again you pick them back up do what you gotta do then simply quit out the game again and you can rinse and repeat this cycle over and over until you have enough super credits to buy that new warband it really is as simple as that guys now i actually saw this posted on reddit there's a guy who's posted a video on it too which i'll link down below within the video description if you're confused by me explaining it just follow his step-by-step -step guide it's pretty simple but yes guys there we have it for another Howard Divers 2 video guys if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one